said it feels right Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Hey, I just wanted to let y'all know that this time it's me and only me. And this time I'm in the kitchen. Nisha is gone to work out. Um, Makai is actually in the living room. Well, he's stepping in for a minute. Come speak and then you can go. Come here. Let's tell everybody hi. All right, go on back to the back and play with your toys. So it's just me and only me today, you guys. So with that being the case, and I'm in the kitchen, as y'all can see, I got on my little apron. Um, I'm gonna do a little cooking today. So I decided that today I wanna cook dinner for Nisha and Makai. So, um, I guess I'll get started here in a minute. But uh, what I'm gonna be cooking today, I'm gonna cook a little uh, meatloaf. Some macaroni and cheese, cabbage, and some sweet potatoes. So, um, we're going to see how it turn out. Um, I'm going to start by taking care of the first thing that Nisha always tells me to take care of when I'm trying to cook, and that is washing my hands. Let me get these hands clean so we can get this show on the road. Take off my ring. And too often that I take that thing off, so you know, I'm gonna take it off. Get these hands clean. So let's see. What are we gonna start with? So what I'm gonna do first, uh I'm gonna start with this meatloaf. I wanna go and get it going. Then I'll come to my sweet potatoes, my cabbage and things. Let's start with this meatloaf so I can get it going right. Now, make sure that I get it all taken care of. We're anyway, gonna use this bowl right here. Found out when you make meatloaf, you gotta get your hands dirty. Get your hands dirty. Sometimes I don't mind getting my hands dirty since I do a lot of landscaping anyway. So, I don't mind messing with this meat a little bit. So, the things that I'm gonna use for this meatloaf today, I get my meatloaf seasoning. I got my crackers. Got me one egg. And a little hunts meatloaf sauce. No. Here's all I'm taking care of. So let's see what I want to do. First thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add my egg. Egg in there. Alright. My egg broke up. Let me go ahead and mix this. Y'all yeah, seen I wash my hands. That way Nisha can't say, I hope you didn't fix me no food without washing your hands. So I'm gonna walk, I got my hands clean. I'm gonna get these crackers out of here. I'm gonna crunch all them up. Put them in this meatloaf. And while I'm preparing this meatloaf, let y'all know, let y'all in on a little secret. That Nisha don't know. So today I decided I'm gonna cook dinner. Nice dinner for the family, whatever. See, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something different to a plate that I'm gonna fix specially for her. So with that plate that I'm gonna fix specially for her, I'm trying to see. May add some applesauce to the to the macaroni and cheese. Um, may put a little hot sauce in her sweet potatoes. Um, or her meatloaf. I 
I might even put a little hot sauce on top of it. So, I'm gonna leave the cabbage as it is. And I might make it a little bit salty. But, I don't want her to know. But when she bite into anything on that plate, she gonna regret that she did. So, you know, it is what it is. Since she wanted me to cook dinner, I decided I wanted to record it. She don't know I'm recording, but hey. So, got my meatloaf all grinding up. Add this meatloaf seasoning to it. See, normally I ain't the one to cook the meatloaf. Normally it's Nisha that cook them. It turned out nasty, but I ain't Nisha. I ain't Bauer Nisha. Cause I don't follow her ingredients. I think it's gonna turn out fine though. I think it's gonna turn out pretty well. Pretty good. I know everything here is gonna turn out good. But in all honesty, this is my first time ever cooking Milo. So hey, it's worth a try, right? This is happy wife, happy life. So, my wife asked me to cook. Normally I don't really cook. I can cook. But normally she does all the cooking. But this time, I take it upon myself to cook. So she volunteered me to cook. So let's do this. All right, so we got that Milo season. I think we got it pretty enough all through the meat. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a half of this can. I'm gonna mix it in with this meat already. Take the other half once I shake the meatloaf out. I'm gonna take the other half and I'll just spread it out over the top. That way I can get this going and get it in the oven. Once you get it in the oven, that means you almost there. Almost there. So, got that taken care of. Let's see if it works. Okay. I'm proud of my wife. She got us a can over there working for a change. That's what I'm talking about. You get bonus points for that. I'll throw you in some dessert. Maybe you'll like that. Because you ain't gonna like the taste of what you first get. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. Alright. Now mix this all up. Oven. It's 350. There we go. I set my oven at 350. What I'm gonna do while I'm over here at the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my macaroni and cheese into the pot. Now, yeah, I'm gonna pour my macaroni and cheese in there for right now. I'm let it boil in there. Once I get it done boiling in there, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna do my little specialty with it. Um, just to give y'all a heads up, I already started my cabbage. I wanted to get started early and I ain't wanted to take a while. So my cabbage is already looking good, looking good. So it's just sitting on low right now. As you know, I'm gonna mess with macaroni and cheese, get my meatloaf right, you know. Off my baby niche. And my cat. I can't leave her now. Oh, man. Yeah. Let the shaping begin. I'm 
at y'all, see how this look. Let me get you over here for a second. You ready? Look at that. Ain't that nice? Mom! What's up, there? What you doing, Mom? I'm sitting down eating. What you doing? I'm, I'm over here cooking. What you cooking? I'm cooking some macaroni and cheese, some cabbage, some sweet potatoes, and some meatloaf. You don't sound like I'm cooking. Uh -oh. See? Yeah, my mama ain't even got faith in me cooking. Ma, you on my YouTube channel. Uh, I got you on my YouTube channel right now. They heard you say that. Uh, see, y'all? See, my mama don't even believe I'm cooking the meal. But y'all gonna see it for yourselves. But, Ma. What? Malone and Rice. <laughs> I can cook more than bologna and rice, man. Okay. All right. So on the stove, we got our macaroni and cheese going. We got our cabbage going. We got our meat open in the oven. I'm going to rinse my sweet potatoes off, y'all. And then I'm going to go and start cutting them up. I get these jokers cut up. Hey, when I say I'm a beast with these sweet potatoes, y'all. A beast. Alright, that's one done. So as y'all can see, get my potato, my sweet potatoes. Lay it out, you know? Because I ain't got a lot. We're just gonna do this little part right here, y'all. If all of them fit in here, we're gonna use this little giant. Sweet potatoes all chopped up. Add some vanilla, some cinnamon, some sugar. I ain't eating a lot in here, so let you know I ain't gonna use no lot. And some butter. No, sir. Butter. I'm only gonna use a half a stick of this. So let's start with the vanilla. Yeah, I'm 
might look like it was a lot of sugar, but it really wasn't. Sit up top of them, so chop into the pieces. Now, y'all, at this point, we wait. So, what I'm gonna do take me a slight break, and I will be back. Hey, y'all, I came in to chime back in with y'all for a minute. Y'all see what I'm doing so far. So, sweet potatoes, they, they in their process, doing their thing. You know, let them just work. Let them do their thing. Cabbage done. Cabbage done. See, we got the cabbage done. See what this macaroni and cheese and this meatloaf look like. All right. I think that mac and cheese about done. Let me take it out. Gonna stir it up a little. See what it's looking like. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she ready. Don't y'all think so? She ready. She ready to be eight oh, all the way up. So yeah. Macaroni and cheese ready. I'm gonna leave her out. Y'all see my meatloaf? That's shaped like a heart. It's doing its thing, y'all. So y'all, hey. So y'all, as y'all can see, dinner with Pierre is almost done. And then we move to the evil part. So what I'm working with right now, you guys, this, this, this is this chili powder. I'm gonna put this chili powder on top of her. Meatloaf, if not her meatloaf, I'm gonna put it on top of her sweet potatoes until it's just cinnamon, you know, trickle a little bit. And then another thing I'm gonna do so, I'm gonna take some of this mustard and put it in her macaroni and cheese. So, that's what I got planned right now, y'all. Um, I might just, I just might, might overflow her, her, um, cabbage with some, um, salt and pepper or put some vinegar in it. That way she think it's juice, but it's really not juice to be vinegar. So I might put some vinegar in her salt and her, um, in her cabbage. But yeah, I gotta get it, y'all. It wouldn't be right if I did. Anybody who knows me knows that I love my wife to death, but I always got to do something to her. So, once the food is done, I'm time back in with y'all, let y'all see what's going on. I'm gonna fix her plates in the microwave. And when she get back, we gonna record her eating it. And see how it goes. I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I'm back. And I just wanna show y'all the finishing touch. So, this is gonna be Nisha's real plate. See, we got the sweet potatoes, macaroni and cheese, cabbage, and the meatloaf. So this is gonna be our real plate. I'm gonna put this one up. But I'm about to create her a taste bud plate so she can taste it. And when she tastes it, I wanna see how she
Let's do this. This is gonna be her taste bud. So y'all, on her taste bud plate, I'm gonna put only vegetables. Mustard. Have the mustard for the macaroni and cheese. Alright, so let's put some mustard on there. I'm gonna straighten it up. Let's see, put some mustard on there. Put some vinegar. Apple cider vinegar. In her cabbage. Okay, get out. So, we got all these added and I just need to mix it. What's up, babe? How did it go? It went well. It did. It went real, real well. Okay, let me get some good old food, because I'm stuck. Look, I'm going to let you, I'll fix you a taste plate first. Okay. Because I don't, I don't, because the, with the sweet potatoes, you know, you ain't have no more, no extra sugar. You don't. That's the only sugar you had. Uh, well, you know, I don't like a lot of sugar. I, I eat sweet potatoes for dinner. You know, I do butter. When I cook my other sweet potatoes, I just do butter and cinnamon anyway. So, I, you know, I don't care for a lot of sugar. I sweet potatoes. Oh, okay. Well, that'll but, work then. Yeah, that'll work. 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 Yeah, that Yeah, well, they ain't, they ain't that sweet. They, they sweet enough though. Yeah, that's perfect. We don't need a lot. Yeah. You look how he nah, he about to eat now. Okay, well, I'm in. Okay. Y'all, this shit don't know. But she about to get a taste of. So, y'all, this is the fake plate. Y'all, we have Nisha here. She's about to taste my food. Let's see how it goes. It's the macaroni and cheese. What you put in that? Cause that's like. Um, you put some in it. You don't taste right. What you put in it? Mustard. <laughs> You to eat that first. <laughs> I got 
Mama. I got her good. Mama. But she now has her real plate. Mama. Got juice. But this was cooking with Pierre. And you all have a great rest of your day.